Hey, so I uh, just thought it would be fun to make a quick little video um, to show you guys um, what I'm currently growing in my backyard, um, my uh, urban farm garden, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just uh, everything's so lush right now. Uh, spring, it's like the best time of year. And um, it's currently raining. So I'm, and I finished all my um, chores for the evening. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick little tour for for all of you. Um, this is actually my uh, my parents' property. I'm living with my parents, so I don't own this place, but I am kind of like in charge of the gardening aspect of it. And um, it's a half acre and we've been living here for three years and so over the past three years I've um, like when we moved here it was all basically just lawn and so over the past three years um, my parents and I have been converting it into a permaculture garden uh, food forest we've put in a ton of a bunch of raised beds and in ground gardens and stuff so just gonna walk around and show you what we got this is May 24th 2021 so I'm gonna start over here um, this is a garden that I just put in last year and this is I'm growing brassicas right now here um, so there's some cabbages and there's one here that I was just just admiring this afternoon that I think I'm gonna have to harvest this baby tomorrow. It looks looks really nice. Um, broccoli's coming along, and uh, there's some cauliflower as well that hasn't really started forming heads yet. These are red cabbages. And plant something there. Um, and then over, this is one of our fig trees that's got 12 figs this year, I think. Which is pretty good, because we just planted it two years ago. Um, these are some broad beans that, um, those are from my dad. My dad is like obsessed with broad beans. Um, I don't really eat them. But uh, yeah, and then some kale, some cress, and some pak choy, and endive. Um, just harvested most of these radishes, but these are the last few that I'm gonna get tomorrow. And then some peas in the back. Another little fig tree. Uh, this is just spinach and arugula that's gone to seed. <laughs> Got to plant some more. And so that's that. Um, these are black raspberries that I planted last year. And I haven't tried them yet, but they Look like they're gonna have a lot of berries, so looking forward to trying those soon. This over here is the small greenhouse. Let's see what's inside. Not too much right at the moment, actually. Um, yeah, my dad and I just built this greenhouse last winter, so this is our second year using it. And, yeah, we've just got a few um, tomatoes, that's a pepper, another tomato, some cukes, cucumbers, cilantro, a couple more tomatoes. Um, in, a, in the next few weeks, I'll probably put some more things in here, just in pots. 
Uh, oh, it's starting to rain more heavily, so gotta speed this up. Um, oh, let's show you this. Let's show you this. Um, this is a little nursery that we got going on here. Uh, I'm just starting. I'm starting like everything in flats this year, just because I don't know. I just like it better. Um, so I've got. This is mostly lettuces and some spinach, and then cauliflower, and just got this ready today to plant. Start planting some more lettuces. Um, ooh, it's raining. I don't want to get the camera wet. Um, okay, let's just put my hand over it. Um, okay. Not much to see in here, just some little beets coming up and some little lettuces coming up. Um, and then over here, you know, all of these be beds we built, my dad and I, we built them like two years ago. None of this was here when we moved here. Um, so this is all strawberries that are going to be ready very soon. More strawberries, more strawberries. We're gonna have lots of strawberries this year. Another fig tree. Saskatoon berry, Saskatoon berry. More strawberries. More, some carrots, more kale, lettuces. That's garlic. Potatoes. That's uh, one of the raspberry patches. Yeah, one of the raspberry patches. Oh yeah, and I should just go back here really quickly. Blueberries. This is... We have these two big blueberry bushes that just produce an insane amount of blueberries every year. They were here before. Yeah, and then we planted a few more back there. Okay, gotta go quick because it's really raining now. I'm gonna run to the the big greenhouse. That was just the small one that we saw before. This is the big greenhouse. Oh, I'll get the... So you can see the size of it. I think it's 20 by... No, it's like 14 by... 30 or something, I don't know. Um, and so this year we're gonna put all the tomatoes and cukes and peppers in here, or most of them anyway. Um, but this past winter, because we, we built this thing, my dad, and, my dad and I built this thing last summer, um, like last August, just as a, a project. And so last winter, um, I planted a bunch of salad greens that we had, um, all, all winter, which was awesome. And then in February, I planted another set of greens for the spring. Um, and I was actually, I actually just finished pulling out, um, a bunch that were here because I'm getting this, this bed ready to plant tomatoes. Um, but you can see there's still like, I've still got a bunch of lettuce here that I'm harvesting every day. It's really nice romaine. And this is speckled romaine, which is one of my favorites. I just love the color and the taste of it. It's so good. And then just some kale. Yeah, I love um, just growing different types of lettuce and like trying different types of lettuce. There's so many different kinds. Um, yeah, cucumbers, cucumbers, my dad, my dad did all this actually because I was, um, I've been away and just got back, um, about a week ago. So my dad did a good job with these cucumbers and I just put the drip irrigation in a few days ago and then he did the tomatoes as well. He transplanted them. 
and they're looking pretty good, pretty healthy. So hopefully we'll have lots of tomatoes this year and uh, yeah, some nice basil, a few more cukes. Uh, these are eggplants. A few more smaller tomatoes and pots. Um, yeah, I wish I could show you some more of the fruit trees. Um, but it's really come the rain is really coming down and I don't want to get this phone wet. Um, so I might just stay in here and film another garden update video in a few weeks or something. But that's basically what's happening right here, right now, um, May, end of May 2021. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, if you want to see more gardening videos, like this video and uh, write a comment saying you want more and I'll make more. And uh, until then, have yourselves a great day. Ciao.